Welcome everyone to another video. In this video, I'm going to take you through a very quick comparison of Windows 10 IoT Enterprise LTSC 2019, LTSC 2021, and the new Windows 11 IoT Enterprise that is not an LTSC version. So as I have new OEMs coming on, ready to start a new project or move off one of the older versions of a product to a new newer one, the question is, do I go to Windows 11? Do I use the very stable and very reliable 2019 LTSC, or do I try the brand new version LTSC 2021? Let's go down the list here in the comparison chart that you're looking at. So um, to start with, the most important thing is the servicing channel. How many years of support do you get? And we'll look at the dates here in a second, but the actual dates when they run out. So 2019 is gonna get you 10 years of support. That's gonna get you to 2029. Um, LTSC 2021 in the middle, 10 years also. It'll get you to 2031, 2032. We'll look at that date in a second. And then the non-LTSC version, which they're now calling GAC for general annual channel. It used to be called semi-annual channel because they had two releases semi-annually. Now they only have one new build per year. Makes things super easy, but You'll get a new build of this version every three years, um, sorry, every year, and then you get each of build gets three year support. So everyone asking, when is the LTSC version of Windows 11 IoT coming out? We don't have a date. It's expected in a minimum of two years. So I, you know, I'm thinking, and this is just my own opinion, probably be the end of 2023. So for that reason, most of my OEMs are sticking with the Windows 10 platform and moving to the LTSC 2021 simply because it has a lot of new features over the older edition, which is already now that came out in mid 2018. We're halfway through 2022 now almost. So it came out four years ago. That LTSC 2019 is four years old. 2021 product brand new just came out this past uh, November, I believe it was. Yes, November 16th was the launch date. It launched November 2016, 2021, and now it is available. You can start testing it with it right now. Get with me if you want to start playing with it. So again, as we go through this, you can see the browser support. Obviously, um, the new products have Edge, and Windows 11 is Edge only. No more IE 11 um, in that. Windows 11 is also 64-bit only. Um, not on the chart, but keep that in mind. And... Um, then as we go down further, you'll see multi-app assigned access uh, available in the LTSC editions coming in Windows 11. Single app kiosk available for all three. Multi-app assigned access was a new feature this year. They worked on it really hard for Windows 10, and that's why it's available in this Windows 10 2021 version, um, but not Windows 11 yet. They're still going to work to make that work there. So then you have your uh, eFlow, your Edge for Linux on Windows. That's available in all three as well. It's a separate product that you go obtain, and it works with all three. Shell Launcher version 2 um, was an improvement over the Shell Launcher, available in all three. Reduced OS footprint, making the footprint smaller. Um, they are still working on that feature. It was supposed to launch in November. It did not. It is coming spring 2022. We should have an update on that here in the next few weeks. Check back on the channel for updates on that. ARM64 is available, but only on the SAC or now what they call the GAC. So it's not, the ARM version is not available in the LTSC version. So if you're going to run this on ARM, it is available, but not in an LTSC version. Soft real-time, a really big uh, feature that is only available in the 2021 and the Windows 11, um, giving you the access to dedicate processor cores to your application so that it always has processing power. Not hard real-time, but soft real-time. And then you have um, an updated unified write filter. So some of the things that didn't make it into 2019 are now available in the 2021. Dual application focus, which is a new name for dual screen. Um, and that allows two screens with multi inputs at the same time, which is typically like a cash register scenario with you have the clerk and the customer not having to spin a screen around, but have two screens and being able to use them at the same time. That is currently still being worked on and coming soon. 
but it will be for the brand new 2021 edition. And then you have some hardware stuff like Wi-Fi 6 and USB 4, um, which is only available on Windows 11. So those products did not make it into the Windows 10 family. Let's see if I can scroll down here just a little bit. GPU compute support, another advantage over the newer products. This new tool, which I have a video, which I'll link here, um, is the new Edge Device Image Builder tool, which is a wizard-driven tool that allows you to create customized image. It's in preview currently for Windows 10 IoT Enterprise LTSC 2021. Doesn't work with the older 2019 currently. And then Device Update Center is also a new feature for 2021. So if you're building something new, that's what you wanna look, look for. Let's take a look at the roadmap for the LTSC family so you can see those dates that we just talked about. Um, here is the 2019 version. It will run out of support in January, 2029. Here is the brand new 2020 LTSC 2021, again, Windows 10, based on build 21H2, and it gets support all the way till January of 2032. And then I, I do have Windows 11 on here, uh, a Windows 11 LTSC, but you can see there are no dates and it hasn't been launched and we're estimating end of 2023 and that's unofficial from Microsoft. That is my own personal opinion. So we don't have any dates on that product yet. Check my channel for other videos on roadmaps to get deeper into some of these roadmaps and other products that we have. And with that, thank you guys for watching.